Do, do, do. Hello again. In this, we're going to be discussing that Harris Crystal Control Business Band transceiver I mentioned in the other video. Remember I said I mentioned it's built like a tank? Or even tanks have their Achilles heels. And in this one, the Achilles heel is his little blue little evil titanium capacitors. Like anybody who's dealt with them knows that titanium capacitors are nice until they're not so nice. Until they take and start blowing if I can hold it here. Start spewing purplish colored smoke all over the place like this one has. And what I've found out through history, through experience, that when one titanium capacitor blows on a, on a circuit board, then the others usually do too. And then I hooked this thing up. The first one blew within 20 seconds of hooking power to it. And then tuck and remove that one, which is this one here. And then within another minute, Another one blew, producing putrid smoke all over the place. Got that one disconnected, and it still got lagging problems because the capacitors the manufacturer used are pretty much all titanium capacitors through here. So, to get this one working again, Probably all those capacitors are going to have to be changed. And there's a big one here. Another one here. And stuff. Most of the rest of them are ceramic disc capacitors, which those are in good shape. But the manufacturer decided to be splurge on this one. I put in titanium capacitors in it and right now those are proven to be the Achilles heel of this unit because all of them are pretty much going bad at once so if I'm gonna ever get this thing back on the air again by using uh, DDS frequency generator to replace the crystal bank then I'm going to first have to do a recap of it by replacing all the titanium capacitors eh, might be another adventure for another time in that regard take care take it easy